In this video, I'm going to talk about the position vectors in three dimensions. And I'm going to show you how to use the position vectors in answering questions. In two-dimensional plan, the position of a point is represented by the coordinate system x and y, where x represents the distance of the point from the origin along the x-axis, and y represents the distance of the point from the origin along the y-axis. Now, in three-dimensional space, the position of a point is represented by using the coordinate system x, y, z, where other than x and y, z represents the distance of the point from the origin along the z axis. So, where is the z axis? Now, let's look at this two-dimensional plane. This two-dimensional plane is x-y plane because we use x-axis and y-axis with positive x on the right, negative x on the left, and positive y on top, negative y below. Now, to see the z-axis, I'm going to turn the plane slightly down like this. So, now we can see this is the z-axis. But from this direction, I found that the z-axis and the y-axis is at the same place. So now I'm going to turn the plane slightly like this. So now we can see very clear this is z-axis with positive z going up, negative z going down. And from this diagram, notice that z-axis is 90 degree with the y-axis. And at the same time, z axis is also 90 degree with the x axis. Now, this direction is positive x, this is negative x, this is positive y, and this is negative y. Actually, any three-dimensional object we can view from different direction. So, for example, this diagram, I can also view from this direction from quadrant 3. So when I view from this direction, so the positive x, this is positive x, this is negative x, and this is the direction of positive y, this is the direction of negative y. I can also view from this direction from quadrant 2. From the quadrant 2, I found that this direction is positive y, this is the negative y direction, this is the negative x direction and this is the positive x direction. But most of the time, I would like to view the three-dimensional diagram from this direction, that is first quadrant, where this direction is positive x, this direction is positive y, this is negative x and this is negative y. Now, let's say I have a point P in this three-dimensional space. And I found that to tell the coordinate of this point, it is not as easy as two-dimensional plane. So, to do this, I'm going to use a cuboid to help. From this cuboid, it is very clear that the distance of this point from the origin along the x-axis is 2 units. And the distance of this point from the origin along the y-axis is 4 units. And along the z-axis is 5 units. So therefore, the coordinates of the point is 2, 4, and 5. Other than the coordinate system, the position of point P can also be represented by a vector called position vector. A position vector is a vector starts from the origin towards the point P, which is denoted as OP, with the arrow on top. 
To find the position vector of OP, we can start from the origin and move in the direction of x axis using unit vector i. After that, continue in the direction of y axis using unit vector j. Then followed by the direction of z axis using unit vector k until the point P. So, the resultant vector is the position vector OP which is equal to 2i plus 4j plus 5k. Since both the coordinates and the position vector are related to the origin, we found that the coordinates and the position vector actually is the same. From the coordinates of the point P, then we could find the position vector or from the position vector, we could find the coordinates of the point P. Now we have learned that the position vector of point P start from origin towards point P. If there is a vector start from point P towards another point Q, so this is called vector PQ. Vector PQ is a displacement vector and which is used to show the direction of movement. So sometimes it is also called as direction vector. In this diagram, since we are given the coordinates of point P and point Q, so from the coordinate, so we can find the position vector of point P, which is OP is equal to 2i plus 4j plus 5k. And from the coordinates of point Q, then we know that the position vector of point Q is OQ equals 3i plus 4j plus k. Now to find the vector PQ, I'm going to use the position vector of P and Q. That is, I start moving from point P to the origin, then continue from the origin towards the point Q. Then I have the vector PO plus OQ. But PO is opposite direction with the position vector OP, so it is equal to negative OP. So when I rearrange, so I find that vector PQ is equal to the position vector of Q minus the position vector of point P. Now let's try to apply what we have learned today in answering the following question. Given that the point A, B, and C are the vertices of a triangle, find the vector AB and the vector AC. Since in this question we are given the coordinate of point A, B, and C, now to find the vector AB, we can use the position vector A and position vector B. Now, from the coordinates point of A given, we know that the position vector of A is negative 3i plus 4j plus k. And from the coordinates of point B, then we know that the position vector OB is i plus j plus 7k. And to find the vector AB, it is equal to position vector of B minus position vector of A. So now we substitute the position vector of B and A and simplify, then we will get the vector AB. Now to find the vector AC, I'm going to use the column vector to find the vector AC. So from the coordinate point of A, the position vector of point A by using column vector is like this. And the position vector of point C is this. Then for the vector AC is equal to position vector C minus position vector point A. So when I substitute the column vector for the position vector C and A, when I simplify, now this is the vector AC in the form of column 
vector.